squad, I made it. I'm in Brisbane, I'm at the Queensland Museum. This place was awesome. Even before you got inside, dinosaurs greeted you. And once you got inside, of course, there were dinosaurs like this guy as well. So welcome. Welcome to the Queensland Museum and Science Center in Brisbane, Australia. Oh, did I mention dinosaurs? They had this cool projection on the wall that showed how fossilized footprints might be made, and this amazing case of mammal skulls, ordered not by genus or by family, but simply by size. So you could see the size differences of mammal skulls from an elephant all the way down to this teeny tiny guy whose species I actually forget. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the Discovery Center. Everything in here was hands-on and interactive. Tons and tons of kids and families. And obviously, you gotta have a shark hanging from the ceiling. There were drawers that you could open with different fossilized specimens, like these fossilized birds. And a table full of different skulls that you could pick up and play with and try to figure out exactly what species it was. This is a, uh, oh yeah, it's a wallaby. That's a wallaby. Speaking of wallabies, they had a ton of different animals native to Australia, including this cute guy right here, and also a bunch of live animals like snakes and these amazing bugs. And speaking of bugs, I got to go behind the scenes and check out the entomology collection, which is chock full of awesome bugs I had never seen before, like these huge moths and also a bunch of butterflies. Did I mention butterflies? Oh yeah, more butterflies, also chapstick for scale gotta have something for scale otherwise it's just bad science this is ambergris look it up it's amazing i also met this guy who is my new bae he's a type of possum that lives only here in australia cutest guy ever and on friday nights they're open late this friday was dinos after dark and the line was out the door once you got inside you could grab a drink and do some dinosaur origami you could check out their amazing collection of rocks minerals and gems from australia and of course there was a band mostly playing dinosaur related songs and then there was a real paleontologist talking about his research and if that was too highbrow you could always just play some dinosaur jenga once you had a drink you could go down to the science center and spin around and try not to throw up and then you could check out a bunch of their interactive exhibits that really promoted what i think is a healthy body image and speaking of this is my new girlfriend we're in love I'm going to bring her back to America with me. With this guy, this is Wamba Mania. If you bring out a wombat, even in Australia, everyone goes nuts. His name was Fred. I got to pet him. I'm totally going to try to bring him through customs. But the best part of the museum was the people. Everyone there was incredibly friendly, knowledgeable, engaging, and made me feel right at home. So if you go, make sure you say hi to all of them and also to my friend the T-Rex.